at the Moore School of Electrical Engineering at the University of Pennsylvania, they were very, very strong in computation because there were engineers back then who were moving more toward um, not just how you do things based on what people did before, but to break new frontiers. And as they did that, the mathematical complications became difficult to solve. So they needed a machine. So they decided electrons are faster, we'll move them through these tubes, and we'll click them on and off, and we'll make a machine that would solve these equations. They created the world's first all-electronic, general-purpose, digital computer. When the war started, they were picked especially to do computations for the Army for long guns and the firing tables. ENIAC was revolutionary in being the first large-scale, general-purpose, electronic, digital computer ever built and led to the evolution towards modern computer technology by developing the stored program architecture that is the fundamental architecture for all computers today. They solved these equations that they thought would take two years in two hours. <laughs> they did it. So the world changed. You know, without uh, ENIAC and the University of Pennsylvania and the city of Philadelphia, we wouldn't have Google, we wouldn't have Microsoft, we wouldn't have you know, the, the, the things that are driving today's economy and the uh, rapid innovation that keep happening in computer devices. People just create things even if they're not being prompted to. That's what human beings are about. You need new knowledge to start something new in the marketplace. So people create knowledge. Knowledge is inherently human.